Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today I have some good news now you can install Gcam version 9 on your Pixel phone and I have it here on my Pixel 7 Pro to show you each and every new change so without further ado let's jump in first things first this new version only works if your Pixel phone is running Android 14 and later in the video I'm gonna show you how to install this new APK but for now let's take a look at the new changes so here's a side by side comparison between the two versions to better see the differences on the left I have the Pixel 7a running version 8.9 and on the right I have the 7 Pro running version 9 and the first difference you will notice here is in the app icon you will notice here that the camera glyph icon is much bigger when compared to the previous version and now let's take a look at the app itself in version 9 google completely changed the layout and now we have two tabs at the bottom one for the photos and one for the videos and you will see here all the modes i have here are related only to the photos and if i want to take a video i will see the video modes grouped together instead of having everything next to each other like before the second change is the zoom levels and night sight exposure time now appear inside the viewfinder which ends at this spot and you can see all the controls are inside while here on the 7a the viewfinder ends here and all the controls are outside you will also notice that the camera switcher and the gallery buttons are now swapped when compared to the previous version the settings are now showing at the bottom left corner instead of the top left corner like before and also when you swipe from top to bottom the settings will not appear like before but you need to do the opposite direction for the settings to show up now let's take a look at the different camera modes under the photos and video tabs you will notice here that night sight photo and portrait are the most reachable while here in the previous version night sight was the last option on the left and i'm glad that google made it that way because they are the most common ones google also renamed the main camera mode into photo and the modes tab has been removed completely and the options underneath it like panorama and the photosphere are now showing in the main carousel and also google lens has been removed completely the motion tab also got removed and now you can find the long exposure and action pan options in the main carousel now we are done with the photos so let's move on to the videos and here you will find most of the video options in the main carousel unlike the previous version the first option on the left is called pan which is exactly the same one as the cinematic pan that used to be under this overlay menu but now it got its own tab and there is a new question mark over here that will explain to you what the cinematic pan option means the next step we have is called the blur which used to be cinematic in the previous version and it works exactly the same no difference and when you go to the main video tab you will notice here that the stabilization menu is now gone but if you want to access the same options you can swipe up and you will find here a new menu item that will allow you to switch between locked standard stabilization and also the active the slow motion and the time lapse options got their own tabs instead of having this bill shaped switcher like before so these are all the visual changes i found in gcam version 9 now let me show you how to install this new apk on your pixel phone gcam version 9 apk is available for download from the google news group on telegram and i'm gonna leave the group link in the description below once you join it you will find the post about gcam version 9 just tap on the ellipses and then tap on save to downloads by the way to be able to install this apk as i mentioned in the beginning of the video your phone or your pixel phone should be running android 14 or else the installation will be unsuccessful once you download the new apk head over to google play store and install this app it's called the split apks so i have it already so let's tap on open you will find a button here at the bottom called install apks then you choose any file picker locate the downloaded file which is over here then tap on select and then install and you are good to go now let's talk about the differences in the image quality in my initial testing it seems like the portraits are slightly better than version 8.9 but i'm not 100 percent sure so i'm planning to do a camera comparison between this version and the previous one to see if there are any major differences but unfortunately i'm currently on a vacation and i don't have the tools that will allow me to do this but once i finish the vacation i will do an extensive testing comparing version 8.9 to version 9 and if i found anything major i will create a video to show you what are these differences but for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.